Alright guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to turn a button, seen here, into a lever. So stay tuned, and I'll be right back. Alright, so let's jump right into this. So basically, before there are a whole bunch of complicated versions to set up T flip flop gates, I believe I have some in my maze of redstone testing. So before there have been versions like this, this one was very complicated. I got this from another YouTuber, and I did not like it at all. And it just basically turns a button into a lever, and that's what the piston T flip flop gate does. Then we have this one here, which is the older version of it. Then, last but not least, we have this one here, which I'm going to show you how to build today. So, basically, what the T-Flip update does is turns a button into a lever. So, to start building this T-Flip update, first you're going to want to start by placing a block like this. Then, you're going to place a redstone torch on the right-hand side of the block, a redstone dust right here, another redstone dust right here, a repeater here, on the four ticks delay, and another repeater, oops, let me fix that right up, and another repeater here, also on four ticks delay. And now your output will be right here. So if we wire this around here, oopsie, don't need all that, then if we put a glowstone, or a redstone lamp, and we affix a button to this block, you'll see, the lamp will turn on and it'll have the same use as a lever. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be with a button directly attached to that block. I could have a button over here, per se. I could have a button right on this block here. And then bring the wiring down into that block. And hit the button. And the lamp would still work. You just have to provide power to this block for it to work. And so yeah, that's a very very simple uh, T flip flop. This thing can be useful in a lot of um, places, especially when you are building. Let's see, which one is that? I'm looking for a certain contraption. Don't remember. There it is. Jeez. Alrighty. So this can be very useful in some cases when you're building a hidden staircase like this one I built here, um, where you just want it to be on the button instead of a lever. So you can just walk down here, and then. This would be like a treasure room with all your valuables. So you can keep that nice and safe. And, um, so yeah, that's a very simple T flip flop gate. And you see right here, I have it implemented here. Please don't criticize me on this wiring. I'm not a pro at Redstone. Um, so yeah, that's all I'm going to bring to you guys today. This is Danky Drake H2O signing out.